Hello everyone, so in this part 7 of the redo and the last part, we'll look at the history that the tool Iceberg we used to save our changes and commit them somewhere. We'll generate the history of those changes. So let's go into the Iceberg tool. We can go to our repository MyCounter, right click and go to repository. So there we have the history of the commit we did. So for example, the initial commit, the time I had increment 2 to show you the the iceberg way to commit things, then the initialization methods, and then print on. So we can see as well the difference between this commit and head, which is the commit we are in right now in this image. So for example here, since the first commit we added increment 2, but initialize, starting at the print on method and some test methods. And we can look at the difference between this commit and the commit before it, so between added increment 2 and initialization methods, we can see that we added the initialization methods. So we can see, we can have a good insight of how our project development went. And another interesting thing is that imagine that we don't need the print on initialization method or they were wrong. We can just go back to this commit right here by right clicking and using checkout. This will show us the changes that will happen in the image. So this will remove print and all the initialization methods and tests we made. Press checkout. And if we look at the system browser here, we can see that the print and initialization methods have just disappeared. So it's a good way for you to come back at your code if you did a choice that wasn't right or if you feel like there is another solution. Iceberg can handle that for you. So this video was about how to use Iceberg to get a more insightful look in your own project developments and how you might do things differently by going back to a previous commit.